Under the Political Parties and Organizations Act, political parties with representation in parliament are entitled to some money to run their activities. The spokesperson of FDC, Sam Junganda, says up to now funds allocated to the party have not yet reached the accounts. Since the beginning of the year, Justice Biawakama's electoral commission is holding on to our money because this money was budgeted by parliament. Nganda says the delay in releasing funds for political parties, especially in the season of campaigns, affects the party's activities. Yet we are undertaking multiple activities that require a lot of money and under the backdrop of COVID-19 that has affected everybody. We don't know whether Justice Biabakama wants to release this man after elections and what will it be for. The deputy spokesperson of the Electoral Commission, Paul Bukenya, says the commission has not yet received the money. It's a budgeted item, yes, uh, but we've not received the money it's under this first quarter. And what we've done is we've told the political parties, because, you know, it's, and, and including FDC, so they know we've not received the money and the Minister of Finance is aware of this. So do the parties. FDC postponed the regional campaigns for their flag bearer, citing logistical challenges. Those meetings have now been delayed. But of course the individual campaigns are ongoing, the individual campaigns. Each candidate will continue with the individual campaigns as consultations continue. FDC also used its weekly press conference to condemn the violence in the just concluded NRM primary election. The Forum for Democratic Change condemns violence and the bribery that characterized last Friday's NRM internal elections. FDC is also concerned that the violence exhibited in the NRM primaries might be exported to the general elections. The main concern of the FDC is that all these evils will now automatically be imported or exported into general elections. Voters will be bribed, the major will be used, and opposition candidates will be battered. That is what has come to characterize the elections under 7. They also want the members of security forces who were involved in beating up voters investigated. Aaron Mukama, NTV.